Hello, everybody. Happy Friday and welcome back to the digital edition of NHL Now. Jackie Redmond, very happy to be hanging out uh, with my friend EJ oh. Raddick. We've got a huge weekend coming up on the network, EJ. Uh, a very special edition of NHL Tonight to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the 1980 Islanders, which I know you are very familiar with. You were a huge yeah. Isles fan growing up. Yes, I was. And I was uh, in the building on May 24th, 1980. It was a Saturday afternoon. It was a warm day. And the Islanders ended up going into overtime with the Philadelphia Flyers. It's a crazy game, Jackie. The Islanders had a 4-2 lead going into the third period. We're all ready to party. <laughs> See, I mean, we're ready to raise the Stanley Cup as fans. And the Flyers give them a lot of credit. They tied things up. Nerve-wracking overtime. You're on the edge of your seat. I mean, think about it. You're in your building. You have a chance with your team you root for and your team on the bench to win the Stanley Cup for the first time ever. And if you don't, well, you're going to Philadelphia for Ooh. game seven. Not nope. really ideal. Not no. ideal. So uh, it so. was wonderful. Bobby Nystrom ended up scoring uh, the great goal and, uh, you know, it was terrific stuff. And, you know, we have our special coming up, Jackie, on NHL Tonight Special, 7 p.m. on Sunday night. And, I was able to get Bobby Nystrom and John Tonelli back on the ice, and we recreated that goal, but as a 360 demo, NHL Network 360 demo, it looks terrific. So fans will want to tune in for that. And I remember the day that you were filming that because you, being an Islanders fan back in your day, in your heyday, yeah. uh, very excited <laughs> to get on the ice and, and recreate that. But oh, yeah. in celebration, we're going to celebrate – you know, NHL now style. Okay. And uh, we're going to do some 80s Islanders trivia. We're going to put you on the spot each. Okay. And see just how much you have retained since all those years ago. <laughs> so, uh, question number one. A lot, a lot has happened since then, Jackie. <laughs> yes. I mean, I would know I haven't been around that long. But uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, sort of. But question number one. Who scored the only postseason hat trick for the Islanders in 1980? Well, that's a good question. And it's got to be, it's, oh boy. So I have to start, think, in the start thinking of the series and the games. I mean, it was the Kings and then the, the Bruins and the Sabres and then the, uh, the Flyers. Boy, I'm just going to have to guess on that one because I don't remember it. Uh, I'll get Brian Trottier won the Conn Smythe. I'll guess Brian Trottier. Ding, 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 ding. That would be got, correct. Oh, good guess. Complete correct. Guess. All so right. you just rely on your foundation of knowledge from that time. You make an educated yeah. guess and, and you get it right. It was April Rock. 8th uh, in the opener against LA. All right. Question number two. I think you're going to know this one for sure. Name both of the players that assisted on Bobby Nystrom's 1980 cup clinching goal. Well, it was John Tonelli. <laughs> you know, let's face it, he's connected completely. But the guy who gets overlooked is Lauren Henning, who uh, ended up making a great pass from the neutral zone, putting it right on Tonelli's stick. And the interesting thing is that they were really not line mates normally, but Wayne Merrick, who was the normal center for that line, he ended up getting injured, didn't play uh, in later stages of that game. So it was Lauren Henning who ends up starting the play. So it was Nystrom from Tonelli and Henning at uh, 7-11. Of overtime. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. We've got the time code and everything. Time. This is why yeah. you do what you do. All right, question number three. We're not even halfway through yet. Right. How many 1980 playoff games did the Islanders win in overtime? Oh, boy. How many 1980 playoff games did the All right, Islanders let me think. Win let me think. I don't think they had any overtime with L.A. I think they had at least – I, they might have had three with Boston because I think the first two games went to overtime and then I think the fourth game went to overtime. So that's three, right? I, there was two in the Flyers series, so that's five. I don't remember if they went to overtime in the Buffalo series. It was a six-game series. I'm going to say five. Ooh, you're so close. Do you was want to take a second guess? It was six, was it, yes. It was six. Yeah, they must have had one with Buffalo. Oh, well. I was hey, close. Listen, I was close. that was a great guess. I couldn't Thank tell you. you how many OT games the Blues played last year. Like, I just, I just, <laughs> I would have to really think about it. How many was there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's tough to remember. Close. I was close. Those That's a good question. Yeah, this is a good question. This question is similar. 
So question number four, how many total games did the Islanders play in that 1980 postseason? All right, well, you had four against L.A., you had five against uh, Boston, so that's nine. Then you had uh, six and six is 12, so nine and 12 is, uh, what, 21? Yes! 21! Go. But, hey, like that. Yeah. that was Butch Goring's number at one point during his Islander tenure was 21, and then he became 91. I believe that's what happened, but 21. The right answer. All right. You're on a roll. You're on a roll. So okay. we're going to keep right. going here. Okay. All right. Who led the Islanders in shorties, shorthanded oh. goals, during the 1980 postseason? Shorthanded goals. Well, you know I mean. They had? You know, I don't think that really matters for me. I mean, I think it's a couple of guys that I would think would be in the mix for that. I mean, you know, like obviously Butch Goring was a great penalty killer. Lauren Henning was a great penalty killer. Uh, I'll say Butch Goring just because I love Butch. Okay. Uh, I love Butch Goring too, but that's a eh, – it is incorrect. You want to take a second shot at it? Lauren Henning's picture came up, so I'm going to guess it's Lauren <laughs> Henning. Uh, but, I, but I did say that those were the penalty killers, so I mentioned you did. the name. You did. And I, Listen, I just guessed wrong. You're coming across like a legit 1980s Thank Islander you. hockey fan Thank right you. now. You're, yeah, you're, you're yeah. proving that you've earned your stripe. Yeah. Um, and right. I, love the, I love that patch on Lauren East jersey there. That was the Lake Placid Olympic patch that's on his uh, – I guess that's his left shoulder there that you can see in that photograph. So. Uh, Anyway, there you go. All good. All right. So next question. Where are we here? Okay. Question. I don't have these memorized, obviously. I mean, That's who are we okay. okay. That's okay. Question number six. Uh, Mike Bossy and Brian Trottier finished first and second in goals in the 1979-80 regular season for the Islanders. Who finished third with 22? Third in goals, Islanders regular season. 22 goals. Doesn't seem like a lot. I mean, I would, I, I guess the guesses that come to mind right away would be Gillies and I'd have to say my guy Tanelli. Um, you know, Bob Nystrom could have been in that mix too. Um, listen, I'm a John Tanelli guy, so I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna go down being wrong about John Tanelli. So I'm gonna say <laughs> Tanelli, even though this might be the wrong answer, I'm gonna still say that. All right, it is not your boy, JT John Tanelli. It is not. Do you want to take another guess? I'll take another shot at How about Clark Gillies? Incorrect. It is what? Anders Name? Collar. I, I, I might be saying Kalor. that. Anders Kalor, yes. Kalor, there you Kalor. go. You know, he was a really good player, and he joined the team that year, and it's kind of an underrated thing, but he was a uh, you know, guy comes over from uh, you know, overseas and jumps into that mix and added a little skill to the group. So uh, sure how long did he that. play? How long did he play for the Islanders? He played like uh, four or five, six seasons, somewhere in there. He came over a little bit later. He had been playing in Europe, and he was a really skilled and talented player. All right. Uh, last question. I'm going to try to squeeze it in, even though we got all like right. a minute left. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, no, wait. Did I get them all? Oh, no, no. Question number seven. Brian Trottier and Mike Bossy finished first and second in points in the postseason for the Islanders in 1980. Who finished third with 20? Oh, third with 20 points. Uh, boy, that, I'll say Denny Pot then. No. 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 I'm a loser. All right. <laughs> no, you're not. You got most somebody. of it right. Bobby Bourne, there he is. Yes. He's up on the screen. There, there you go. There yeah, I can identify. Go. When their pictures come up, Jackie, I can identify them. Like that. It's like there's no hesitation <laughs> whatsoever. So, I mean, listen, the way I see it, you've basically gone seven for seven. <laughs> no, six for seven because of the uh, – the overtime games, but yeah, that's a tough right. one. Anyways, okay. the point is, this is fun, EJ. You were a huge yeah. Islanders fan in the 80s. You watched them win these yeah. cups, and you're going to be a part of this special, this NHL Tonight special, Sunday, 7 o'clock Eastern time on NHL Network to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the 1980 New York Islanders. Anything you want to say to the audience before we go about what to expect? Uh, listen, it's going to be great. That 360 demo is terrific. Tune in. Check it out. All right. Have a good weekend, everybody. And thank you for watching.